Hi guys. So NXT went up uh, yesterday um, or the past three days from a, a market cap of 7 million to um, uh, currently a market cap of uh, 17 million. So times two and a half. Uh, <laughs> amazing. Really good. It also went up in the ranking from the 17th spot of the largest cryptocurrencies to uh, now the 10th spot, sometimes the 11th. And that's really also absolutely marvelous. I'm very happy with that. Um, the, the, the value in BTC is, um, it was a low of around 1000 Satoshis only. Um, and now it went up to 2,500 Satoshis. So the first write up was from 1,000 to 2,800 Satoshis. And then the day after, yesterday or two days ago, it went up from 1,800 Satoshis to 3,000 Satoshis. And now it's about 2,500 Satoshis. I'm very, very happy with that. I did sell uh, a decent piece of my position around 1,500 Satoshi. So, yeah, looking back on that, um, I dropped the ball. Uh, that was not the right time to sell. Uh, but my, um, yeah, for me, the fundamentals had weakened uh, for uh, NXT. And so the risk reward issue had gone down. Um, and um, even though we were at an all time low. However, I did keep a large position also because uh, I was aware that uh, the timing was very, very bad there. It was at an all-time low versus Bitcoin. Coming from a high of 15,000 Satoshi, uh, hit twice uh, in 2014 um, and only being 1,000 Satoshi uh, or only selling 1,500 Satoshi, so 10 times lower than the all-time high. And also in fiat value, the high was around 70, 80 million dollars, hit twice. And now it was only $7 million. So it was really the worst time possible to sell. So that's why I didn't sell it all. And I did keep a large position. Uh, but of course, um, yeah, I, I'm, I, I'm happy with that. But I have to admit that I did make a mistake in selling there. I shouldn't have. Um, I should have been more patient and uh, just kept my selling for now to start selling now and selling on the way up and selling off at an all time low. So, okay, um, it was wrong to sell uh, there uh, and I will certainly uh, see that more and more and more if NXT continues to go up. Um, I made similar mistakes in the past, but uh, so, 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 um, but yeah, um, still I'm, I'm, I'm very happy that, um, I kept a large position in NXT and, uh, um, I, I, uh, I improved my uh, portfolio uh, very much uh, over the years. Um, I'm still making mistakes, but, um, well, my portfolio is now higher than it ever was, except at the end of 2013 when Bitcoin hit thousand uh, dollars, uh, actually thousand euros, thousand two hundred dollars. Um, then I was higher, and um, but now I'm back um, in the game. Uh, I'm back up. Uh, this year, 2016, finally is starting to look good. Unlike so many other cryptocurrency investors have experienced. I'm now also starting to experience that, and that's really awesome. Up uh, 50% uh, since the start of the year, my portfolio. So that's really great. Um, and, and, and I'm ready to make a, a killing if indeed we get a new uh, Bitcoin bubble. And the majority of my portfolio is in cryptocurrencies uh, today. And of course, if it would tenfold from or fivefold from here, Bitcoin and NXT maybe tenfold from here, yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna have uh, I will have made it financially, and um, and that's what I have been working for a, a long time, and uh, I hope uh, I will succeed in that. Um, so. Um, yeah, uh, 
what else can I say? Um, uh, yeah, I, I find it very interesting the way I have responded to the bear market of NXT. I continued to be bullish the whole way down, but then at the final end, I became bearish myself. And, and that's really typical. And I, and I recognize now that I, I failed. Uh, in, um, instead of buying more at an all-time low, I ended up selling a big piece of my position. And um, that's a pity. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, that, that, that's a mistake. And I really hope that I don't fail to make that mistake when we get a bubble again, that when it's very high that I that I don't sell a lot, that would be a real big mistake, or even worse, end up buying more instead of selling. That won't happen to me. Even though I did sell, sell at the bottom, I did have a big position left, and and so I'm pretty sure that there are not many few people um, that. Um, that had uh, even after I sold a big piece of my NXT have such a big exposure to uh, NXT in their portfolio as I uh, have um, and then I mean percentage twice uh, how much percent of your portfolio of your total capital is invested in something that's what it comes down to huh? it really doesn't matter like you can be all it's th those are the actions huh? If you invest 1% of your capital into something, well, that's just a waste of time and you're not really investing in it. Even though you have 1%, it won't make a difference. If it tenfolds, oh, you made a little bit of money. But an investment that's tenfolds is very, very rare. rare. That's an amazing achievement. But because you put in only 1%, you're not really profiting from that. Um, so that's really a waste of your own time. Don't do that, is my advice. Just don't bother with it. Unless you're a, a, a billionaire, one percent will make a difference. Will mean something. But if you have just normal uh, average capital, even if you have hundred thousand euro, hundred thousand dollar, what is it? One percent. That's thousand dollars. Is nothing. Yeah? So I, I really don't agree with. Uh, uh, investors saying that and invest only the uh, capital you can afford to lose or or or, or invest only five percent maximum ten percent in cryptocurrencies of your portfolio I don't agree with that because the uh, good investment means that you invest the you invest most in the best investments and the best investment is the one that has the best risk reward ratio and of course, cryptocurrencies are very high risk, but they are extremely high reward. So the risk reward ratio is a lot better in cryptocurrencies than in, in the stock market, for example, or in the bond market, or in the real estate market, or in, yeah. Um, so, so this makes a lot of sense if you want to have great returns, good returns, that your largest position is in cryptocurrencies but it also brings if you invest this way a lot of it is a very risky portfolio even though it is the best risk reward portfolio it's a very high risk portfolio and that made me sell a piece of my nxt at an, an all-time low because i had taken so many losses so many hits the past two years that I ended up like being where I started 10 years ago. I didn't hadn't made any money. I, I also hadn't lost money and that was a good thing, but I also hadn't made any money anymore. So even though I had huge profits before with Bitcoin, I lost it all again. And so it's extremely volatile such a portfolio. And it just, it just, it takes a lot of energy uh, and, uh, and, 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 and fear uh, can take over as it did with me fear of losing even more and, 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 and losing it all. And so uh, it's um, <clears throat> taking a lot of risk also requires a lot of um, a lot of um, conviction. And I am impressed by some of the people in the NXT community 
that have continued to be positive during that bear market. I can't, cannot count myself uh, as as one of them, uh, but uh, but uh, some have, and, and congratulations. <laughs> um, because that's an amazing performance if you can do that. If you can also follow that up with actions by having invested in NXT, you should be well rewarded for that. Um, Um, what else can I say? Um, um, I'm not sure. Mm, I'm gonna leave it at that. Thanks so much for watching.